how many consecutive zeros are there at the end of the integer obtained in the given product. Number of zeros at the end of the product depends on number of tens. Here, 2 and 5 are prime numbers. 2 into 5 give you 10. So, number of tens depends on number of 2s and number of 5s in it. And if you look at this given expression, base numbers are 1, 2, 3 up to 25 and powers are 2, 4, 6 up to 50. Now, it is clearly visible that number of 2s is greater than number of 5. When number of 2s is greater than number of 5, number of zeros depends upon the number of 5s. Because number of 5s are lesser in number. Then number of zeros depends upon number of 5s. That is number of zeros equal to number of 5. Here 5 is lesser in number. So here the expression is base numbers are 1, 2, 3, 4 up to 25. So, multiples of 5 in base numbers are 5, 10, 15, 20 and 25. This is up to 25. Now, here after 4 raised to 8, we have 5 raised to 10. That is 5 into 2 is 10. You can see this is 2, 4, 6, 8 up to 50. And when you have 5, power is 10. 5 into 2 is 10. Same with 10 into 2 is 20. We have 10 raised to 20 here and 15 raised to 30 here. 15 into 2 is 30, 20 into 2 is 40 and 25 into 2 is 50. So, these are multiples of 5s and in 5 raised to 10, there are 10 number of 5 and 10 raised to 20 means 2 into 5 is 10. So, there are 20 number of 5s. 3 into 5 is 15. There are 30 number of 5s in 15 raised to 30. And here 5 into 4 is 20. And there are 40 number of 5s in 20 raised to 40. But here 5 square raised to 50 is 25 raised to 50. So there are 50 into 2, 100 5s in 25 raised to 50. So total number of 5 is equal to, total 5 is equal to 10 plus 20 plus 30 plus 40 is equal to 100. 100 plus 100 is equal to 200. Option D is your answer.